21st century superhuman And I know that the answers are inside Yeah, I am the 21st century superhuman Now, now, now is the time Come, come Come on, everyone, let's celebrate. We are the children of the sun. I can see you when I look into your eyes. We are the same, and we are light, and we are one. And we can make a difference. The content is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Anyone who chooses to use the information herein presented accepts personal responsibility for their choices and actions. This information, video, audio, and written, is a production of 21st Century Superhuman, PMA. Our purpose is educational, to inspire viewers to explore well ways of being. We may receive donations from advertisers or affiliates. Hi there, I'm Carrie Ellis, author of 21st Century Superhuman. This is our 21st Century Superhuman show. And today I have with me my wonderful friend, Patty Greer of Crop Circle fame. Patty, how are you today? I'm wonderful, thank you. It's great to be here talking about a completely different subject this time. Yes, and I see you with the beautiful sky of the great American West in the background, my land that I love. Colorado. I am up in the woods west of Boulder and it is gorgeous today and I love no airplanes. The sky has become so blue. Wonderful. It's like old times. That's yay. And right? I'm here in the Yucatan so you can see the beauty that I live in down here which is pretty outrageous. And we also have with us Chris who is one of the whiz kids behind C60 Evo. Chris, how are you today? I'm doing wonderful, Carrie. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for being here. Patty, why don't you just give us a quick blip of your background? Um, I know we could talk for hours on crop circles, <laughs> but I feel that you have tapped into some really important things on the planet for us to know about right now. And just give us a little three minute summary. All righty. Well, I believe I'm in your amazing book talking about crop circles. Yes. I was honored yes. to be included. Mm -hmm. And um, I made eight films over the course of 10 years, which is like somebody who was probably on ESS 60 at the time, but I wasn't. I was on um, a real intense high after going in the crop circles because yes. it just buzz you up. Yes, I love seeing that in your films. It's amazing. And I'm getting goosebumps just with you talking about it. I know they hold, a, like they're a frequency upgrade, really. Yeah, they really are. It's a complete recalibration of your system when you're in crop circles, let alone a hundred of them over yes. the course of all those years. So I was a crop circle crappie. I was one of the regulars, I think, when it was almost the best time ever. Now, the 1980s and 90s, there were a huge amount of crop circles happening in England, but I think that I've kind of lived through the transformation of ufology when it used to be great. I was filming, there were so many amazing astronauts and biophysicists and real experiencers at the UFO events. So it was really easy to come with a movie camera and film an amazing movie because everybody's there. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, the information started getting squashed and stepped on and in a very short period of time, most of the people in movie number two died. And when I say movie number two, that one is called UFOs, ETs, Abductees, and Brilliant Minds. Wow. And I had 28 of the most incredible ufologists of all time at the International UFO Congress wow. Convention. So I filmed them in 2008. And then uh, in the last five years, I'm going to say most of them died off. Wow. Um, I've had two attempts on my life, I will admit. Um, I've been through pretty challenging stuff because much like the people that are presenting free energy technologies, I was presenting the truth about crop circles, which is that the seeds are growing 30 to 400% more food and biofuel per plant yes, at a time yes. when Monsanto is trying to get everybody eating plastic food. Yes. So not only 400% more food, 
30 to 400, not to exaggerate, but it also had uh, test results of 75% more nutrition per plant. And so I, know, got, I know Penny Kelly and the, um, of the, the research that went on behind that too, which is really cool. Well, the interesting thing is I see you focusing a lot on plasma, and I, I had a talk with Penny a few days ago, and um, we were talking about the plasma fields being so exceptional, and by the time I hung up, I was all buzzy again, <laughs> so I called, I wrote a few people, and I said, I think Penny and I need to do an update show on plasma. That would be so, awesome. So we're going to do that with the Goldfish Report with Louisa. But I would also uh, welcome us to do a show with you if you'd like as Penny. I would so, love to. So over the top. And, yeah, and what I will brilliant. say about plasma is I work with plasma tools, but plasma is this field that we live in. And I'm just getting chills just even talking about it. So yes, let's do that. Let's make a date. Well, the science that we brought down was the fact that crop circles are not some alien UFO woo-woo thing. It's scientifically proven that crop circles are actually being created coming out of the earth in spinning plasma vortices. Yes. And so we're working with plasma. And when the seeds are megafied to become super seeds, it's the plasma field and the charge density plasma that's turning these seeds from regular wheat to super seeds. Yes, so I yes. did present that in my final film and boy, did I go through it. <laughs> kind of mm. like David Icke this week, kind of like yes. Julian Assange a few years ago. Yes, you know, yes. you, you, I was the first girl in Boulder to ride a Harley. I mean, if you're going to come in early and you're going to make it loud, <laughs> you better be prepared for the, you know, the follow up. So um, I did get really badly hurt, unfortunately, and I got the message. I haven't done a gig since. I haven't gone anymore. But what rescued me when I was in agony? ESS60. I love that. I love and that. I was trying everything, and I just stayed in my little mountain cabin and cried. And somebody offered me some ESS60. Yeah, I still am um, keeping my hands down. Today's a four Band-Aid day. Wow. I, I, I think that it, um, <laughs> I mean, I kind of feel like a, um, a test animal, you know, like they're trying to see how much can she take. And oh. now, you know, I, I don't know how I feel this good, but I'm one of the only real ufologists that's still alive. Um, and I know that they tried to get rid of me, but I have a lot of ESS-60 in my system. And if they want to call it the miracle molecule, I would agree more than anything because this has been remarkable for me. And so I was doing different products. I was doing different products of ESS-60 from Chris's lab in coconut oil for a year and a half thinking, wow, this is good. And then I start working with Chris and I did a shot of his um, ESS-60 in olive oil and it was almost like a hit of speed. Wow. <clears throat> it was it, this megafied, um, you know, C60, ESS-60 reaction. And it was so much higher purity than what I had been taking for a year and a half, which I thought, wow, this stuff is so good that I uh, called Chris and I said, maybe you and I need to work together because I've got a big mouth. I know a lot of people and you've got the product I want to be taking and you've got the product I want to be promoting. So he and his partner had just done the fantastic separation of the C60 world, which is really compromised now, into the evolution of C60, which is the ESS60 formulation. And this new formulation is not that new. It's the original formulation that Chris and Rob used in the famous only longevity study that's gone on as long as it did on the planet, I think, that um, was a test for rats. And wow. lab rats, Chris will explain the test in detail, but uh, they were testing for toxicity to see, you know, how long the rats would live and how long it would take them to die and how many tumors they would grow. And the test kept going on and on and on. These poor scientists were like, come on, time's up. Bo, C60 Evo rats would not die. They just cool. kept going on cool. and on and on. And they stopped feeding them and they still continue to live. And when they finally tested the last rat, and I think they had to unfortunately euthanize him because he was like, C60, yeah. you know, the, the, the rat wouldn't die. But the fascinating thing was that when they tested all the rats after the um, test had gone, they lived 90% longer when they took C60 Evo in olive oil 
and they also died without any tumors. And these particular rats always die with tumors. So this was a remarkable something new, kind of like the hydroxychloroquine, something new, but it's not. It's been around a long time. But if you can cure yourself for 50 cents, why spend $1,000 on something that doesn't work? I think we've got another miracle here with the ESS-60 from Chris's lab. So we created the evolution of C60 company called C60 Evo, thus our name. Nice. And we've been cooking for six months. Even in this economy, you know, it's one of those things people know, if I'm going to spend money on anything, it's going to be something that helps me live and be yes. healthy through a difficult time like this. Yes. It's not only for your body, but it also works on your mental well-being and balance so yay c60 Evo. and i've been taking it too <laughs> for a couple what are you of months noticing? you know i'm already pretty healthy in a way i'm kind of like a superhuman i just notice that i'm really good that's about it i mean i've been taking care of myself for so many years and i think the last two months that i've been taking it more clear more energy less tiredness um, kind of just real clean, clean energy. I mean, yeah. if you ask my husband, I can just go all day long, you know, and I get up at the crack of dawn and fall asleep at night when I can't stay awake any longer. <laughs> if I didn't have to sleep, I'd be happy. Well, Chris, give us a little bit of your background and how did you stumble into this C60 thing and what's it all about? Sure. First, let me make sure you can hear me because my mic kind of reset. We can hear you Excellent. loud and clear. Um, well, so, so really, I never grew up thinking that I would have a supplement. I never uh, thought that a supplement was something that was going to be in my, in my path at any point. Uh, when I was in school, I went to the University of Houston, go Cougs. Uh, I met my business partner, Robert Wong, in a physics class. And I'll, I'll always remember the professor because I feel, feel like uh, his name uh, – put him on a destiny to become a physics professor. Uh, his name was Dr. Weinstein. And oh, it just cute. seems like a, that's going to be a professor, right? A, a professor of physics. So we met in that class. And then my business partner was working at a facility on the University of Houston ca campus. Uh, it's called the Texas Center for Superconductivity. He was working with the Dr. Paul Chu, and he was separating fullerenes. And, and that's what we're here to talk about uh, today. Uh, when t at one point, Dr. Paul Chu came in and said, hey, you are young guys. Uh, there's researchers around the world interested in this material. Why don't you go start a business and, you know, and make a profitable business? And my business partner, Robert, is from an entrepreneurial background. And so he was like, yes, let's do it. At the time, the material was selling for $6,000 per gram, right? That's an wow. amazing price. Uh, he actually had another business partner. They engaged me because I'm a, I was studying mechanical engineering. They need somebody to help with the drawings. Uh, they needed somebody to help with uh, the original fullerene reactor uh, because it's a very heat intensive process and there was a, we needed a lot of uh, kind of mechanical components, fluid components to remove the heat. Uh, Chris, from that can you just tell us what fullerenes are? Because I sure. think that's a really important, um, or Patty, if you want to jump in, because I think that's really important. Yeah. Well, Six-sided molecule, right? Yeah. That looks well, like a no, soccer ball. It looks exactly like a soccer ball. Yeah. Um, the best, the best way. So, a little bit of history. Thank you for redirect. I get excited and you know go off. <laughs> um, so, a little bit of history. In 1985, at Rice University, which is also here in Houston, three professors, Dr. Smalley, Dr. Croto, and Dr. Curl discovered the third form of carbon. So we're all familiar with diamond, we're familiar with graphite, like in a pencil lead, and then now there's a third form of carbon called fullerenes, uh, the most abundant fullerenes. And fullerenes are a whole gamut of molecules, but the most abundant fullerene is the buckyball. And what the buckyball is, if you imagine a soccer ball, the lines on the soccer ball represent Named the after Buckminster Fuller, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, buckyball, yeah. Right. He and Buckminster Fulm, uh, uh, Fuller was a famous architect, really a visionary who brought the geodesic dome. And and for me, like it, 
I normally see those when you're at the beach, like if you're driving down the road on the beach, every now and then you'll see this domed house. And, you know, it's supposed to be better for hurricane winds or whatever. Um, he's the one that, he's really the reason that domed house or that if you've ever seen a domed house that looks like a soccer ball, he's the reason that that's there because he brought to the forefront uh, this concept of that geodesic dome, which is the same shape as the soccer ball. Uh, so they, they discovered this 60 carbon atom soccer ball, uh, and they realized really quickly that it was going to be a very important material for modern society. In fact, they kind of figured that it was the equivalent of a 3D version of benzene. A lot of people don't know what benzene is, but if you just look around you wherever you are, except for that view behind you, <laughs> anything that has modern society's signature on it, uh, plastics, medicines, detergents, like just we don't have modern society uh, without the benzene ring. Now it's understood that the benzene ring is actually carcinogenic and it's actually toxic. Uh, mm -hmm. And so they assumed this buckyball and the soccer ball uh, molecule was gonna be toxic. And that's why they did what was called, what, what is a toxicity study in 2012. Uh, and, and Patty kind of went through a, a lot of the study. Instead of being a toxicity study, it turned out to be the longest longevity experiment on mammals known to man. Now, now I, I'm, I'm sure we'll talk about that. If you want to get geeky into like, what, what else does a buckyball do? I, I'm happy to do that. Um, just give me no. some guidance. That's okay, but I think the point is that this form is capable of absorbing toxins in the body, or I'm not even sure exactly what is the mechanism. So I think that's kind of what I was aiming towards with Yeah, the, Yeah, so um, those rats in that original Paris, uh, Paris study, uh, University of Paris study, they lived 90% longer and they died without tumors. So it's important, and Patty's right, they actually did... Uh, they, I always like to give kudos to these researchers because again, they were doing a toxicity study. And, and in this case, they gave rats water, they gave rats olive oil, and they gave a group of rats uh, the, really the C60 Evo formula, which is ESS60 in olive oil. And as soon as your group that's been given the C60 Evo formula outlives all of the control group, again, the control group are the, are the rats that got water, your toxicity study is over, right? Like literally what you thought would be toxic has all outlived the control group. And so now your toxicity study is over. But instead of just ending their study then, they continued to um, do the animal husbandry necessary to keep these animals alive. Aww, nice. From month 32, which is when uh, the average, when all of the rats died who were in the control group, all the way out to month 62. And it's known in these rats, it's a Wister rat, it's known that these rats, the longer they live, the more tumor mass they have in their body. Wow. And despite the fact that the tumor mass increases, which with each day of life in these particular type of rats, the rats given the C60 Evo formula lived almost twice as long and none of them died with any tumors. So this is, this is a pretty remarkable result. Not only is it the single longest longevity experiment, but it's uh, really, and, and a lot of people will start saying, oh, anti-cancer, and you have to be really careful. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think as a scientist, you need to be really careful. There's a huge difference between um, cancer prevention and cancer cure, right? Mm -hmm. Cancer cures, once the cancer has metastasized, is a really challenging uh, you know, uh, uh, medical practice. Uh, and we know things as simple as good exercise, good diet, you know, healthy sleep, those things are cancer preventative. So right. it's certainly from this test shows, you know, and kind of has the implications that it's a, it's a, um, a cancer preventative. Nice. And a longevity stimulator, basically. In some yeah. Form. And you, you asked about the mechanism. So it's not surprising kind of current medical science thought processes as they relate to aging is that aging is an oxidation and an inflammation process, mm. right? And so it's not surprising that the C60 Evo formula is an antioxidant. Uh, we have to be very, and, and actually there's one study that shows it to be 172 times more powerful than vitamin C. Um, so that's pretty impressive. And you have to be really careful, at least here in the States with the FDA, when we start talking about anti-inflammatory. Um, it's certainly, our, our product certainly fits within the anti-inflammatory diet. And if you think about those diets, like the Mediterranean diet, well-known Mediterranean diet, people on those diets are associated with 
things that are uh, better health as it relates to things that are caused by inflammation. Like there's less incidences of Alzheimer's. Um, they tend to live longer. They're in what's called a blue zone. So people on the Mediterranean diet tend to live longer than the nice. average human on the planet. Nice. I'm really glad I grew up on a Mediterranean diet. Very nice. Yeah. And uh, I mean, so, um, so you were kind of in this entrepreneurial, like new science that was happening in the Houston area. And then you, how did you leap into this producing C60 Evo? It's a, it's a bizarre story. <laughs> so I, I believe, and I've been kind of in the supplement industry for about two and a half years now, I believe the typical person gets into the supplement industry one of two ways. Uh, the first way is they wake up and they decide they want to be wealthy and that they're going to sell supplements in order to be wealthy. And I have no problem with people being wealthy. I think the other is, and I think I, I find this more with the more supplement people that I speak with, that they, they had their own kind of physical challenge or they had a physical challenge of a loved one. And, right. and so they were able to solve that with supplementation and now they want to save the world. It, hopefully it doesn't surprise you. I have no problem with people saving the world. It's just not how I ended up here. I've been making this material since 1991. It goes into tires and batteries and solar wow. cells. And, and they do this study in 2012, the rats live twice as long. Um, there are people who are like, well, I should put that in my body. We actually, at that time, uh, came out with labeling not for human consumption. Because you got you to gotta imagine wow. my, right? my carbon nanomaterial scientist hat was like, no, this goes in tires and solar cells and Would batteries. Would you put it in the body, right? Yeah. Oh, cool. and, and this was despite, so the literature was still very clear. C60, when improperly processed, peer-reviewed published research shows it to be harmful. ESS-60 is C60 processed for safer human consumption. So when we were talking about ESS-60, the literature is very clear that it was actually safe, safe to consume. But still, we're, you know, we're in this mode of carbon nanomaterial scientists, so we added that. Fast forward to 2017, a guy with a big YouTube following, he starts talking about all the benefits that he was getting, and really the industry sold out. Um, wow. except for us because we're the largest manufacturer and distributor of ESS 60 on the planet. So we never ran out. It was actually right around hurricane Harvey. So there was about four days that we couldn't get to the office. Um, but we never, we never sold out. And, and that's really been and, and really coming into 2018 is when I had to stop and ask myself, am I going to be a supplement guy? Supplements have, it's a challenging industry to put it nicely. And is it an industry that I want to go, go into? And when I say challenging, I think like scientifically challenging, um, you know, there's documentation that shows 50% or more of supplements don't have what they say they have in them. Mm. Um, so uh, it's an industry that I wasn't drawn to, if that makes sense. Uh, so coming into 2018, I asked myself two questions. The first one's a moral question. I take it, my wife takes it, everybody on my team takes it and you're taking it, right? Uh, so I'm comfortable selling it. And then the next one here in the United States is the FDA and the FTC, and you just have to do the right things according to their guidelines, which we're doing. Uh, and so now really it was 2018 that we started selling the supplement in earnest. So from a real um, pedestrian standpoint, and I have my beautiful body, bottle of C60 here. Let's see if I can get yeah. it turned the right direction. But, Mine's um, a little bigger. Oh, yay. Cool. Do we have the same thing? Yeah, I think it's just turning a little different color. In Actually, I usually take an afternoon dose. I'm going to go ahead and take you my know, afternoon. I'll take one too. I just take this little. I took mine right before the show because it really does clear the mind and give you energy. But I do want to remind people to um, not take it late in the day because it might keep you up at night. And I learned something interesting from Chris this week which was that um, I always take it on a spoon and I don't love olive oil, but I've learned to because it, it doesn't have much taste. So I take a tablespoon every morning with food before noon, but Chris um, puts it in his coffee and he mixes it in his salad. Mm. And we had somebody write recently and say, can I cook with it? And my first thought was, no, you can't because you know, then the oil might go rancid and you don't want to waste your C60, ESS60. So uh, Chris said, oh no, he can cook with it because the ESS-60 actually extends the 
capabilities of the oil to not go rancid. Wow. So um, what Chris was talking about a few minutes ago was the fact that um, the C60 market did blow up in 2018. And that's when I was pumping it on a lot of shows because I was so elated with my um, healing. And I was raving about it. And I was taking it a lot and turning people on to it. And so um, it did really create a stir. But here we are now two years later, and there's a lot of different basement companies that have come out of the woodwork. And they aren't scientists, and they're not experienced in you know mixing organic properties together. So we don't really know when you're buying from a semi-established company that perhaps doesn't have an address or a phone number or an office, you might want to think twice about something you're going to put in your body. So um, Chris and Rob recently decided to test all of the products on the market. And so they bought 22 uh, C60 products to wow. see how good it was, what was for sale. Because he knew that I had already done two different products a lot. Um, one of them was capsules made with um, black seed oil. And I thought, wow, that's got to be good because black seed oil is so good. And um, Chris tested the products because he bought everybody's products. And the capsules, you would have to take 200 of those horse caps to give you the same quantity of C60 as a teaspoon of ours. 200, I was like, no way. Yep, we tested it in the lab. So that company wow. came out with a, a newer product this year and they recommend you take two capsules. And those you would literally need 20 to equal one teaspoon of the C60 concentration of ours in olive oil. So um, it was like, whoa, really 200? And then they fixed it and now it's 20. And on the bottle, they recommend you only need two capsules a day. Well, okay, if you want a 10th of a dose. So, you know, I don't know how people are being so impressed. Wow, this stuff's great. Except I was when I first started. Once you get it in your system initially, it's kind of shocking because it's like, whoa. And so many things are starting to shift inside you. I, I called it my roto-rooter because I had things coming through my skin and out my body that I had never seen before. So it That's was incredible. Oh, girl, my daughter got married in August and I had this beautiful low, you know, low neck dress and all of a sudden these weird things were growing out of my throat and I was just wow. detoxing. Yeah. And so I had these like skin tags and three mm. of them right here front center. And I'm like, well, why don't you just put it on my nose, Earth? <laughs> you know, like what? Why do I? So they, they got bigger and bigger like a tongue you know, sticking out of my skin. Aww. And I thought, God, do I go to the derm and have her, you know, cut them off? And, you know, and then I have three scars or, you know, band-aids. What do I do? Shoot. Luckily, it came with a great scarf. So I figured I'll just scarf up. Three days before the wedding, one falls off. The next day, another one falls off. Perfect. It came out and fell off before the wedding. And I was like, wait, now that just doesn't happen. And I asked the dermatologist because I, you know, had everything checked on me. And she said, no, that doesn't happen. So um, the reason I was there Beautiful. was that I had a, um, a little basal cell cancer on the side of my leg, which I've never had anything of the kind. So I went in and got it taken care of. And um, they, they scooped it out. They cut it out. And um, I went home and I was imagining that I was going to be in really rough shape with pain for the next few days. I never had any. I called the doctor four days later and I said, how long does it take for this numbing to wear off? And she said, four hours. And nice. I said, I'm four days. I have no pain. And I mean, I had nine stitches on the inside that are going to melt and 11 on the outside. And I'm thinking, dang, that's, that's a lot of labor on the side of my leg. And she said, don't worry, the inside ones will melt. In a month, you can come in and we'll take out the outside stitches. And it healed incredibly. And she said, number one, below people's knee is a really hard place for skin to heal. You have done remarkable healing. Wow. Plus, I'm not a spring chicken. So she was really impressed. And I wanted to hold up my bottle and say, you know, it's not just any day. I'm taking this incredible molecule. So a few months later, something weird started coming out of the um, stitches 
out of the end. And I was like, what the heck? And it got bigger and harder and it was coming out of my skin like the skin tag. And it was like a white rock. And my daughter is a, a dermatologist kind of a pro. And so I said to her, what is this on the side of my leg? I can't see it well enough. She took her fingernail and she popped it out. And she had it in her hand. She showed me, she goes, a white rock just came out of your stitches. And I went, oh, uh. so I called the doctor the next day and I said, <laughs> what? And she said, wow, you really are unusual. She said, that's called a spitting suture, which means rather than melting like they do in most people, your body said, absolutely not. And it pushed it all together into a very hard little ball and it spit it out through the skin. Wow, that is really cool. Great story, Patty. When people write and they say, oh, I'm Chris's documentary uh, living human. I mean, there's things <laughs> I can't talk about on the air. But when I tell you I am not worried about probably ever needing another surgery inside my body again, this stuff rocks. And nice. I was, you know, dealing with a variety of things. I had somebody leave some uranium at my house who was mad at me nine months ago. And uh, he left it right at the garage door, knowing I'd go in and out, walk past it and not notice it. And I got really sick in August. So I lost 25 pounds. I was ailing. I mean, I hated that I know so much about, you know, like you, you know, when you choose to be intuitive mm -hmm. instead of busy out in the world, yes. then you have that skill, which you and I do. And right. I don't know about Chris, we don't talk about intuition, but I know that um, I took myself on an amazing vacation where I was almost going to come see you in Mexico, but I came yeah. back to America March 9th and on the 11th, they shut the company, uh, the country, not the country. They shut the country. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So my intuition, I was like, wow, that was really interesting because I couldn't decide whether to take the train ride in the most beautiful train ride in America, which is down the California coast, or go to Mexico and be on the beach and work my C60 business from there. So I, um, my C60 Evo business from there. And so I did both. I was like, why not? You know, I mean, I'm nice. never going to be young again. So I did this major trip and then I came back two days before the country shut down. Nice. I nice. don't feel scared that I'm going to get the virus because, um, as you can see, I love to sit out in the sun when I can, yes, but I also yes. have so much C60 Evo in my blood and in my There's system. There's nothing that that's going to stay in you. I nope. Know and I'm not worried about cancer anymore. Yeah. Even though we can't make medical claims, those rats, no tumors at all. Right. So for me, I'm not the scientist. I'm just the testimonial person. But when once in a while we'll get people to say, oh, you know, C60 is a nanobot and you can program it to kill people <laughs> and, and be all negative and, and there's not enough tests and there's not enough history. And I'm like, well, how about me? Three and a yeah. half every day, a tablespoon. And if I don't have a spoon, I just tip the bottle. So I mean, this stuff. <laughs> and I feel kind of like the, the I, I don't think you can knock me over anymore. I just really feel like this has empowered my life. And I'm very, very proud to be working with Chris and Rob, who have owned the C60 industry since 1991, 29 years. Well, you know what? I have to ask a question because um, Chris, if he really started this in 1991 and it's 2020 right now, that's 30 years ago. I mean, he barely looks 30. <laughs> I mean, or maybe mid 30s or late 30s. I, I, like, I like how this is going. So we'll just leave it at that. Did and you then, start uh, when you were five? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was the Doogie Hauser of uh, mechanical engineering. <laughs> That's great. Cool. Chris is 50. And yeah, I just turned 50 this year. Chris, you look very, very young. Thank you. Thank Do you. you. And how long have you been taking C60? I, I've been, to, so I took some uh, way back in uh, two really mid 2013, right, right as we were adding not for human consumption. And like I said, the, the literature was pretty clear, you know, C60 industrial applications, improperly processed, dangerous, ESS60 safe. Um, I did take, 
I actually, I, w- I took a trip. My wife is from Panama. We went down to Panama. Oh, nice. I probably took like a bottle or two. And I didn't, like a lot of our customers, I didn't notice anything right away. And so one, just to give you a frame of mind, we knew it was safe, but our mindset was like the scientifically correct thing to do is to put not for human consumption, right? That, that was the right idea right. at the time. Um, and then really in 2018, that's when I started taking it in, er, in earnest. I can say probably the most I've ever taken in a day is four tablespoons, uh, which is a lot, right? Each mm-hmm. tablespoon is three teaspoons and one teaspoon is our typical recommended serving size. Right. Um, I have a and, friend and can, who, who says we are our own best guinea people. Yes. Yeah, I, guinea, I like guinea people. <laughs> yeah, and, and in my case, I mean, there's a couple of things that I notice. Certainly sleep is, is one of them. I know, uh, you know, sometimes you're about to go to sleep and your mind is racing and it's going fast and you're like, I don't even know if I should even try to lay my head down because my, my brain is just racing. I still feel that way when I go to sleep. But if I give myself the opportunity to sleep, I just go right out. So it's wow. almost like it keeps you energy right up to that moment. And then you talked earlier, right? Like you've got energy and then, okay, I'm done. The body's got a, you know, needs a timeout and you take that timeout and then you wake up and you're moving fast. That's interesting. Cause I haven't talked to somebody else who says that, but I am like zoom, go, go, go. I lie down to go to sleep and I'm just out. You know, yep. I mean, I like, people have trouble going to sleep. I don't even know what that is, but I, but I don't go to sleep until I'm done with my day, you know, and then yeah. I just, and when I wake up, I'm awake. Yep. And, and, and right uh, away your brain's going, I, like, even if I wake up in the middle of the night to use the restroom or something, I wake up and my brain is going and I'm walking to the bathroom. My brain is going, I'm walking back from the bathroom. It's going. And then I lay down and I'm back out again. Like, yeah. It's, I think that the, you know, Patty did mention some of our customers will say if they take it later in the afternoon or if they take it at night. Stay awake. I think that maybe it's not that it's actually keeping them up. I think it's that their brain's going and they just have no mechanism to kind of relax a little bit and then fall asleep. Or they're not even trying to go to sleep because they're like, I'm up and wired. Why would I, you know, like it would be crazy. If you were that way with that energy on caffeine, you wouldn't be able to go to sleep. That's right. That's right. right. Let me ask you a question just from a user's standpoint, from a generic person who's just like, I'm going to take a little of this every day. So it has these C60 molecules in it. I mean, it has yep. that look like soccer balls. Yep. And my understanding is those help pick up toxins in the system. Um, I mean, do you know, do you understand the mechanism by which this works a little well, bit? Well, so- so it really is. And, and by the way, it's, I just feel that it's important to keep your listeners safe. C60 really is for industrial applications. Okay. And can be harmful. So we need to call it especially. Yeah. C60. It's like if we want to talk about C60 and, you know, paint and inks and tires and batteries and photocells, great. That's C60. If you're going to put this in your body, it really does. I mean, to keep the consumer safe, ESS 60. Um, I, I mentioned that it's an antioxidant. I mentioned that it fits into the anti-inflammatory diet, which is, which is really important and really addresses the two key things. Um, we do know as a nanoparticle- I mean, I just put you on speaker view and I'm looking at you going 50? Like you look <laughs> really great. Anyway, go ahead. Sorry for interrupting. Thank, thank you. My goal, my well, prior to really, because again, remember, I'm not a supplement guy who like, hey, let me get into the lab. And I mean, I'm in the lab a lot, but let me get into the lab and create this, you know, uh, uh, what is it? The fountain of youth that no, I just happen to be this guy in this situation at this time and trying to be a good, good steward of it. Um, yeah. So uh, th- they, they, it's not surprising when these rats live, you know, almost twice as long that we're checking the boxes that the medical community says are responsible for aging, namely uh, antioxidant. And like I said, part of an anti-inflammatory diet, I can tell you, I, I think this is interesting to add, certainly in the kind of climate that we're in right now, there's five ways that our product actually supports your immune system, right? So it's a known antibacterial and you might be thinking, well, why would I want an antibacterial? And, and the short answer is if your body's in the middle of fighting bacteria, 
then your immune system is compromised in some way. And right, it's the compromised immune systems that are most at risk. Uh, next, it's a known antiviral. In fact, in, when it was initially discovered, really kind of in the early 90s, right when HIV and AIDS was really at its peak, it was known that the, in, at that time C60 molecule would inhibit the replication of the AIDS virus. Uh, in fact, there are patents wow. associated. Yeah, there are patents associated with C60 and again inhibiting the replication of the AIDS virus. So it's a known antiviral, um, well documented and even patented. Um, it's an antioxidant. Again, 172 times more powerful than vitamin C. Uh, it fits into that anti-inflammatory diet. And then finally, uh, sleep. And we've talked a little bit about sleep so far, but. A lot of people, I think, do a lot of hand waving about sleep, right? Like sleep is, so, everyone will agree, sleep is so important. And then they'll say, well, you know, unless I've got something else to do. And then, you know, that suddenly becomes really important. And there's a book called Why We Sleep uh, by Matthew Walker. Phenomenal book. It's a very scary book about sleep, which hopefully would convince you to get your sleep opportunity. That's the phrase they use for how many hours of, of restful sleep opportunity you need to have. Um, and, and, and so sleep is, a, it's, it's good for your mental, physical, and emotional well-being. Well, it turns out good mental well-being, better immune system, good physical well-being, better immune system, good emotional well-being, better immune system. So those are all the reasons we can't, and it, and it, it would be, um, it would be unethical to say that it has impact on COVID, right? That's not what we're saying. I'm just saying those are the reasons that I sent extra bottles to my mom and I have my mom taking double doses. <laughs> Love it. Patty, were you wanting to jump in? Oh, I'm, you know, I listen all the time. I love it. I, you know, I learn from Chris constantly and um, I'm experimenting, you know, all the time. The last show we did, he mentioned that he was working with sludge from the filter on uh, some of his wounds or whatever it was that he wanted to rid growth. his body of. Okay, yeah. growth, I was trying yeah. to. <laughs> yeah, one there and one back there. So uh, here I am with my fingers that you had mentioned and um, I said on the air, Chris, will you send me some sludge? <laughs> it's very clandestine. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any sludge? <laughs> so I get this anonymous package in the mail a few days ago. No card, no nothing. And it's this teeny little thing inside a decent sized box. And I unpeeled it and it got all over my hands. And so I thought, oh, well, that's probably what it's for. And I wasn't going to show this on the air because they look a little funky. But yeah, I've got four band-aids on today and I decided to use the sludge which is really thick intense uh, ESS 60 from yep. the filter yep. um, and so it's so I'm what would be the concentration of what I'm putting on my fingers and then I cover them with band-aids but I had to wait until I finished eating finished doing the dishes looked around is there nothing else I have to touch because once I put Band-Aids on, you know, you don't want to wash your hands again. Yeah. So I'm testing it. And when I put it on, um, what is the concentration? Well, so it's it, concentration is still going to be about 0.8 milligrams per milliliter, right? Because concentration means how much ESS-60 has dissolved in the oil, right? You've got extra C60 that's got olive oil around it, right? And so now you're really just taking the raw powder that's been wetted, if you will, with olive oil and putting that on your skin. And so, so it's, you know, a hundred percent concentration. Like it, it literally is not I, like, there's no real proper scientific nomenclature. You really, it's kind of like, think of it this way. If, if, if you're going to put sugar water on your skin, right. There's a saturation. There's only so much sugar you can get to dissolve in water. And then if you had extra sugar, you got sugar sludge, right? And so the concentration of that sugar sludge, well, the wet part has the maximum concentration of sugar and water. And then the sludge is just extra sugar crystals. So um, you want to use that uh, sparingly uh, because we do know that it's very important that it be dissolved in an oil, right? Um, and so though we know that if you were to just consume the raw powder, it typically just goes through your system. 
because you're holding it against your skin, there's opportunity for your body to continue to process and, and leach some of that uh, ESS-60 uh, and use it however it may be using it. By the way, we don't know if it's gonna do anything. I, I got rid of one mark already on my skin, which is why I'm trying it on two others. And they look different. They're like, you know, you get different kinds of spots on your skin when you get 50. <laughs> and, uh, and so there are two different looking spots. And so that's, that's what I'm trying to kind of assess if there's any value there. Great. Well, what I noticed was that I've had a bad few weeks in a row for whatever reason. Uh, what happened to me was in 2004, I left my fantastic dentist because for $10,000, I was going to replace six silver fillings with new clean white porcelain. He said 10 grand. So I thought I'd get a second opinion and it was six grand free nitrous. Um, I didn't see the red flag that was in my face, free nitrous, <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, but I thought, eh, let's say $4,000, you know, I could use that. So I went to this dentist I didn't know, white porcelain, it's on the chart, woke up with a mouthful of new mercury fillings. Mm. And within six months, I was a professional harpist, pianist, used my hands constantly, um, had a man, used my hands constantly, and my uh, fingertips burst out in cuts. And I've had 18, almost 19 years solid of cuts on my fingertips, and I have tried every single thing. Now, ESS-60 has fixed, I'm going to say, 90% of my other ailments, but mercury poisoning... That's a, a beast. And the fact that we've got Bill Gates and his boys and girls trying to sell us on some new mercury uh, laced vaccines, here I am going, you know what? I will crawl in a mine before I let you stick more mercury in my body. As long as it's not a mercury mine. <laughs> Good point. Yeah, a lot of the mines, they did use mercury to clean the gold. Yeah. So, you know, here we are. Um, but um, I, I do believe that we are in the most insane time in human history this is going to be written about uh till the end of times oh yeah but the fact that we three are here doing important healing work for millions of people are you know have access to our information we're really devoted i don't think there's anything better we could be doing right now because our health and mental well-being is so being tested more than ever before and all the big medias are on the same boat um Go get your vaccine, stay home, put a mask on, be scared, and hate Trump. Oh, oh, oh. And if they tell you that night after night after night after night, even your family is going to start believing it's true. Yeah, turn it off. Well, I haven't had TV for, I don't know, 10, 15 years. But where I'm living, I had this beautiful place, and, and a big, huge screen came. And I said, all I want is Netflix. So when I'm in the mood, I can pull up a movie. But even Netflix, I go looking, it's like pandemic murder yeah. robbery. it's like where's the happy stuff so um you know i wish my crop circle films were on there but they were too important so <laughs> here we are 2020 and everybody on earth is being tested and um i again am just going to reiterate i feel almost guilty how aloof i am from being scared because i'm not i actually think that we are in the greatest human awakening of all time and that if, as long as we can hang on to our health and really stay healthy, we're going to make it. And there's nothing better, in my opinion, than this simple formulation, which you take on a spoonful in the morning. I'm in my 60s, and I don't know if you can see my skin, but it has gotten a whole lot better on this formulation. And there's times when I wake up and I look like a prune, and I'm like, oh. And then I go throughout the day, you know, drink my water, and I skin plumps back up again so you know uh, for my age i feel like you know chris is a lot younger but still um i think all of us that are taking it are definitely noticing the anti-aging remedy I'm just saying um, you look great you well, look really you. good thank you well, i keep going sun shade you know i can't quite find my uh perfect light for the show but i feel no, like but you look lovely your face is very yeah. soft and your skin looks really nice I mean, I, I can see changes over the years I've known you. Yeah, you've, I know that, known, you've gone back. Yeah. I know that some in your audience might be wondering, okay, so why would these people decide to put this on their skin, right? It's, it's new. Uh, we're the human 
would, would you say guinea human guineas guinea humans guinea humans, or, guinea humans. no <laughs> um guinea i've people. actually got a dis- our own guinea, best guinea, guinea people. people there we go guinea people our own best um, guinea people <laughs> uh, I, I've got a distributor who uh, we were having a call one day and she goes and you know we're kind of I always like to share stories with distributors with Patty with with anybody who's on the on the product about you know what are they noticing what's the most uh, amazing testimonial because we are getting some amazing testimonials nice. um, and so she goes hey Chris I got to tell you something so I, I have um, I have kind of an addiction to skin creams and it's kind of like uh, I have a separate credit card that my husband doesn't know about, so I can, you know, pursue my addiction to skin creams. I put your uh, your product, uh, the C60 Evo formulation, on my skin, and it's the best thing I've ever put on my skin. Wow. And literally in that moment, you know, like I just took this dose, I was like, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I put it on my skin too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> like, you come with a lot of credibility. If you have a hidden credit card uh, for skin creams, you've probably used a lot of them. And if our product is the thing that you like the best, then I'm going to put it on my skin too. I love it. I love it. I, I love it. it on, yeah, I put it on mine all the time. And if your bottle drips on the counter or you spill your spoon at all, put it on your face, rub it on yep. your hands. Cool. I never wait. Yeah. Um, the testimonials that, that we've seen have even included people curing cataracts. Now, I'm not saying we can cure cataracts. <coughs> I'm saying people have replied that they have. So um, the sleep thing has always been a real test for me. When I made those eight movies, I was awakened every night at three. And I, I don't even want to talk about how out there it was, but I was kept up for an hour or two, and I remember pleading, please let me sleep. And it wasn't like I had aliens in my bedroom. <clears throat> Instead, I was getting downloads in my brain from whoever, whatever. And so I would get up, I would write a bunch of notes, half in my sleep. Once in a while, I'd get up and edit, you know, if I was mid, whatever, and I, you know, but now, years later, uh, I haven't made a film since 2016 was my last so four years, I still have this 3 a.m., oh, God, no, <laughs> where I get up and, you know, but I'm like you guys. I go all day like a freight train, and then when I'm done, I know it, and I lay down, and I don't even think about trying to get to sleep. I'm gone, but right then three, three to four hours later, I'm up just to use the restroom, and I hurry back to bed so I don't feel the cold, you know, because I leave the window open, and I live in the woods. Um, wake up feeling yeah. dumb. So I don't know, you know, we all have to find our rhythm, but I find that if I let myself just get up and do life as if it's daytime for an hour or two between two and 4 a.m., then boom, I'm back to sleep until 7, 7.30. So calling um, my 60 plus years of toxins, you know, we live in a world where they drop things out of airplanes and they put crap in food that blows in the wind. And right. we know that right. there's Oh my God. I mean, there's so many chemicals coming out of all kinds of facilities, you know, that even in the woods, the wind blows. And so we're always taking on a variety of toxins. I rode a Harley 50,000 miles. So I definitely took in some exhaust over the years. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, now here I am, I'm having a quiet life. I'm detoxing everything. But I mean, it's almost like I laugh. There's days when I wake up and go, God, should I tell Chris? Nah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but all I can say is uh, I've, I've cleared out years and years of toxins from my system. And this is the only thing I've been taking regularly. And I want to keep up on it and get myself totally back to, uh, I, I guess there's no new normal, you know, for all of us. We're being transcended into a whole new experience in life. But I think that once we come out of this, and all three of us can probably agree that now that we've had a month off, and when we come out of this, we're going to need to have our minds really well balanced because the truth is going to hit the fan. <laughs> um, we've covered a lot of really, really good stuff. Um, I, I don't think there's any more. We're, we're, we are working actually on some uh, testing, right? So the next process, the next scientific step is to do some of our own research. Uh, so we are going to work on recreating that original rat study uh, with some wow. kind of applications. I don't know if you can see this. This is an aura ring, um, which is supposed to be one of the better sleep trackers on the market. Wow. Um, we're a scientist out of uh, university 
uh, of California, San Diego, uh, who's tied in. He, so he's a co consultant for Oura Ring. Uh, and so we're working on an actual sleep study. We've got about 13 participants right now. Nice. So we're, you know, there's one thing to be, you know, thrust into the supplement industry. Uh, and then another thing to do the responsible things that, I, that it seems a lot of supplement people don't do. Uh, and so that's what we're trying to do to be good stewards again of this of this technology. And I want to mention that we, along with a lot of people, sell a variety of different oils that you can take your C60 in. But the olive oil holds more C60 than any other oil that we've tested so far. Um, olive oil holds 0.8 milligrams per milliliters of C60 maximum. The avocado oil holds 0.6 and coconut oil, MCT organic or non-organic, only holds 0.35 milligrams per milliliters of C60. So at our lab, we have big, gorgeous metal urns that are constantly turning. They go three weeks. There's no oxidation. There's no light. They're really high quality vessels. And no matter how long or how much C60 you pour into the system, you will only get 0 0.8, 0 0.6, and 0.35. So all those years I was doing uh, coconut oil, I was only getting less than half the C60 that I'm taking now. So even though we sell all three flavors, because uh, people have different desires, we really encourage people to go with the highest concentration, which is C60 Evo in olive oil. And if I can mention that um, we, it's expensive, like Chris said, it's more valuable than gold. So we offer deals. If you buy, you know, the dog product in yourself or the cat product and one for yourself, they're packages. We also do monthly subscriptions so you can get 20% off all of your orders if you sign up for a subscription. So uh, we want as many people as possible to be able to at least try the product because most people don't quit once they feel so much better. Yeah. Great. And um, thank you for that, Patty. And I actually lucky enough to be an affiliate with you guys and I'll have a link under the video and if people purchase through my link it helps support everything that 21st Century Superhuman is doing so we kind of all work together as a team and a family and help the whole thing keep going that's wonderful well thank you for the work you're doing and I wish I had come to see you in Mexico but I was oh you will one I was so days. close. And then I thought, let's see, will I get locked in Mexico for who knows how long and not get home? Maybe I'll go home instead. Yeah. But it was, it was a toss up. I really, you're in a good place. We're here. in a good place here too, Chris. Maybe, maybe when she goes there, she won't work because she described a really beautiful vacation, a train ride uh, and a trip in Mexico. And she was still working. Most people come here and just sleep for about three days. So just to <laughs> hold that out as a tempty, tempting, tempting, tasty possibility, you might come and just go into such deep rest. We're in kind of a portal here, which is really amazing. Really Very beautiful. Cool. Um, and Patty, I just want to mention to your, I'm just in the middle of launching the third edition of my book, um, my books, which are four books, but the first one with, um, which is 21st Century Superhuman, Shift of the Ages is book one with audios and a new cover. And it's also coming out in Spanish. And then we have the other three following right behind. So your films, I know for a while you were, give, you were you had them up for free, some of them. And um, if people want to watch your films, where did they go? And we'll put that link under the video as well. Great. All eight of them are available at crop circle films with an S dot com. But if you want to get four of them for free, they are cropcirclefilms.com forward slash free. I realized after all the, shall we say, difficulties I went through that this is not something you do for money. And I just quit the war and I put them up uh, for free. Cool. And our website for Evo yes. is c60evo.com. This is my bottle size. I like the big one, the 32 ounce. It's like bigger than my head. Perfecto. Um, right? Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm very grateful. And I think that every day is a miracle. And I wake up so grateful <laughs> every day and every middle of the night. I just wake up and the first thoughts I want to have are, I love my house. I love my business. I love that my body's still working and that I'm still alive. Yeah. And then I go down the list of all the other things. But I think... Gratitude is really good medicine along with the Evo. Yes. 
and you're vital and doing well. Chris, any last words of wisdom? Uh, thank you very much for having us. I am envious given the view behind you. Uh, I need to share that. Uh, and, uh, and, I, and I do like to get away to tropical areas. Bring your family, happy. come visit. We actually, I actually just got my website up too. It's been months, but 21stCenturySuperhuman.com and there's a travel page on there, which has about traveling down here as soon as restrictions are lifted. And yeah, um, as soon as that happens, that sounds awesome. Rock the on. website's beautiful. I took a little tour. Thank you. Very nice. And our website is c60evo.com, like evolution. But uh, if you use Carrie's code, then you get a little more discount. Yes. What's right that on. code? It'll be under the video. Okay, excellent. Okay, I just want to say to everyone out there, be well. Remember to breathe, smile, love, and even laugh because these are the things that raise our endorphins. We take care of ourselves and we are the change that changes the world. So we'll look forward to seeing you all soon. Much love, Patty, Chris, thank you both so much. And we'll see you thank again you, soon.